Hello friends, my name is Will Terrell and welcome to this video. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022. And um, you know, we're starting year three of a global pandemic. I'm sure you're aware. I've had a lot of time to think. <sighs> Probably too much time to think. Honestly, I've been dealing with a lot of mental health issues this year. I'm sure quite a few other people are in the same boat. But I, I've had one really big realization that I wanted to share with you all. Maybe it'll help. I've had a tremendous misconception about how the world works, about the, how the universe works. For some reason, I got it in my head that what you did mattered that who you were mattered. And it's not really true at all. It's really, um, it's ego, you know, telling us we need to be something or do something in order to be fulfilled. And that's not true at all. And I'd always wondered why I struggled with that in a mental health way. Like I would, I would accomplish something I'd set out to do some big goal like breaking into animation or, or becoming a YouTube person and getting a certain number of views or becoming a comic book artist to be a professional. What I did was who I was. It had become my identity and I couldn't quite get past it. The problem is when your identity is who you are, you're so easily disappointed when things don't go right. Your, your ego's really caught up in you ha having to be perceived a certain way. And it's even worse, when you succeed, it's never quite enough. It's never quite enough. Because you didn't really, I personally, was unable to enjoy the unfolding of my life many times. I would always tell myself, I'll be happy when this happens. I'll be happy when I achieve this goal, when I make this certain amount of money or whatever have you. And I never was. I'd get there and I'd feel this, this um, emptiness. And I, I'd start to look back and realize how hard it was just to get here. And if finally accomplishing this thing didn't make me fulfill, feel fulfilled, then what the hell will? And I never could quite get there. Even having kids, uh, you know, I thought that that would make me feel fulfilled. And, and in many ways it did. My kids have been the, the joy of my life. But there's been this emptiness, the sadness that I couldn't quite shake. And then the last two years of this pandemic have really made it impossible to ignore. And I've had to dig deeper into who I am and, and what that means and, and understand myself better. You know, it's funny. I had more of my life figured out when I was a little kid than I did as a, as a grown up. I think many people would feel that way. When you're a kid, all that matters is having fun, playing, being present, being in the moment, because that's all that matters. That's all we have. Everything you ever want to do in your life, everything you ever want to accomplish can only be accomplished in the moment. Isn't that strange? You can't plan for it. You can't wish for it. You can't do anything other than do it. <laughs> you can't be anything other than what you are. So if you want to be a writer or an artist or a musician or a banker or a wealthy person, a happy person, you just have to be it. You have to be it. You can't put it off. You can't wait for something to make you what you want to be. A lot of times we think money will make us happy. 
Not necessarily. Maybe what having money means would make us happy. It means being free, being able to make your own decisions, to be able to say no. Same thing with anything in life. So uh, I'm learning to be more present. It started with meditation, with just closing my mind, closing my eyes, breathing, breathing as deeply as I can, using my lungs, filling them up completely, holding it in, letting it out, relaxing, and just doing that over, being in my body, feeling my body, not wishing for something that might make me happy, actually being happy to be in my body, to feel my breath, and any time thoughts would occur, recognize that I'm having them and let them go. The more that I did that, the more I started to get a sense of what really mattered in my life. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't views or comments. It wasn't a paycheck. It wasn't even a family. These are all things that make life better. They're, they're here for us to experience. They amplify who we are. But I wasn't always in control of how I felt about things. Even the good stuff. Being mindful, meditating, being in the moment, that allows you to choose how you feel about things, taking the time to think about it. Sometimes that, that never even occurred to me that I could choose to be happy, that I could choose to find a way to be satisfied with whatever unfolds in my life no matter what. And the last year or so, I've been steadily learning that. And it's incredible what it does to you. It makes you so much more peaceful and more serene. And who you thought you were starts to fall away like a shell. And you go deeper and deeper until you realize who you are inside who you are inside. Who I am, that's it. I am, who I am inside. I believe about myself. If I think I don't have enough, then I don't have enough. If I don't think I'm good enough, then I'm not good enough. If I don't think I'm worthy, then I'm not worthy. I am that I am. I am loved 
because I love. I am loved because I love. That's what most of us are trying to get to, to feel loved, to feel, I don't know. I can't speak for you. I can only speak for myself. And I've always wanted to feel loved. And I was unable to feel that until I decided I was worthy of feeling loved. Suddenly, all the love anybody had ever tried to give me in my life came flooding in. I suddenly felt it, that beautiful connection to all living things. Everybody that had ever told me they liked my videos. <laughs> every, every person I'd ever made smile or laugh person I'd ever made feel better. I felt that love all of a sudden. Can you imagine that? I'd never been able to experience that before. I never felt worthy of love. I don't know how many other people feel that way. It's a very, uh, it's a very lonely place to be. Anyways, I thought I'd share this video in the hopes it helps somebody out there. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep smiling.